So I bring down the x squared, uh, and then I'm going to multiply through, and I get 3x cubed minus 5x squared. Again, I change the signs. This becomes 7, or it becomes 6, I guess. 6x squared. I bring down the 2x. I'm going to multiply this by 2x. And I get 6x squared minus 10x. Change the sign. Add. And I get 12x. And so this is my remainder because, oh, no, I can still multiply by 4. And I get, I have a 0 here. That's 0. So I have 12x minus 20. Change the sign. And I get 20 as a remainder. So I'm going to make a few steps here. I got to change this. This is kind of fucking disaster. This is weird. To me. So I'm going to integrate this polynomial: 2x cubed plus x squared plus 2x plus 4 dx, and then I'm going to write plus, and I'm going to integrate 20 over 3x minus 5. And I think you're okay with this being x cubed plus one third x cubed plus x squared plus four x. And then what I do with this, I bring the 20 out front. Again, I write the one here. This is three x minus five is the first power, the gong goes off. And I say, oh, I need the derivative of this up on top. Well, the derivative of this is three, so I put the three here, but I gotta divide by three. So my natural log will be multiplied by 20 thirds. And I end up with x to the third plus one third x squared, Oh, this should have been x to the, I did this one wrong, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, it was 2x cubed. This isn't right. What should this be? Yeah, 1 half x to the 4th. This is one third x cubed, and this is still x squared, and this is still 4x, and then this is 20 thirds times the natural log of 3x minus 5 plus c. Okay, all right, so backside. Walker, can you do that problem in your head? Yeah. Can you just tell me what it is? x squared plus 6x plus 5. Perfect. Okay. How did you get the 6x? Uh, you just added the 3s. Oh, there's and two of them, right? There's two 3x's in there. Okay. And how did you get the 9? Uh, it's 3 times 3. Okay. So this is called... I don't know why we call it this. I think it's kind of dumb. It's a perfect square. I would just call it a square. And this is a trinomial square. Now, Walker, that isn't, is it? No. 
okay? Because this should be a nine, yeah. right? But I could write it like this, okay? Yeah, okay? And then I could say, hey, here's my trinomial square, that's x plus three squared plus one. Okay? Everybody okay on that? Okay. So then, let's say I have this. Oh, let's see. Let's do this. I don't even know if this is going to work. Ethan, I'm going to put parentheses around these first two. Okay? Because that's negative and I don't like negative. Yeah. And I'm going to factor out a negative. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Now. Locker. You believe in... Do you believe that you can send a message to uh, Ethan? Telepathy. The telepathy, yeah. That's what I wanted to say. Telepathy. Telepathy. Okay? You're going to tell him with your mind, not your mouth, with your mind, what number it needs to go there to be a perfect square. Okay? You got it, Ethan? Four. Four. No, or 16. 16. A little bit better. You were thinking four squared, weren't you? Yeah. And then all he yeah, remembered was the four. He right. missed the squared. Kind of like, you know, the sound kind of screwed it up. So plus 12. So this is the same now as x plus four squared plus 12. Would you agree with that, Ethan? Yeah. And then I could write that as 12 minus x plus four squared. This is just some basic algebra from a long time ago. Maybe when you had advanced algebra. Okay, it's called completing the square. We okay with this? Yeah. All right, so if we take a look at this, we got something that looks crazy like this. We don't have the derivative 2x plus six on top, do we? So it cannot be natural log, no gong is gonna go off. But what I can do, and since I did that as this is the first example, I could write this x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus 1 dx, correct? Yeah. And then I could write it like this. Is that correct, Ethan? Yeah. Now, Ethan, where was the coach from that was talking to you? Six blocks. Well, that's way up north. Yeah. They just kind of started football, didn't they? Yeah. Well, they, don't they play St. John's? And aren't they over in Mayak? Yeah. yeah. So that's the same as this, correct? Yeah. One squared is the same as one? Yeah. Now, I got a function in here, x plus three. I'm going to say g is equal to x plus 3. And I'm going to say g prime is equal to 1. Okay. So if you take a look, right here is the derivative of g, right? Yeah. And then I'm going to go one step further, and I'm going to say a is equal to 1. Now, it's not natural law. What do you think it is? It's one of the inverse. It is, you are right. What kind of inverse? The ones that everybody hates. The most hated inverses. Angular. Is that the one you hate the most? Yeah. I was going to say trig, but tangent inverse is exactly what it is. Okay. How do you know it's tangent inverse? Because it's a and b. Yeah, and it doesn't have a what. All the other inverses have it. 
square root, right? Because we square secant and it gets rid of the square root. Remember me showing you that? So this is going to be tangent inverse, I almost wrote, wrote the wrong one. And it's going to be 1 over a, well that's 1 over 1, I'm not going to write it. And then it's going to be g over a, and I'm not going to write the 1, I'm just going to write x plus c plus c. Yes, sir? Why is this square? You're scratching your head? You know what's painful? Okay. Going to dermatologist and she says, oh my God, you've got cancer all over the top of your head. I got to spray it with nitrogen. And then it burns. And then she laughs. I think it's the laughing that hurts the most. There could have been a little bit of sympathy. I told a lot of stories about your glasses on this day. <laughs> this. All right, so here I have a square root. And I'm going to leave it empty. Because I look in this thing, I know this is to this quantity to the negative one half power, right everybody? But its derivative, which would be a negative 2x plus 8, would have to be here and it's not. Because of that, I'm thinking it's an inverse trig, and I know it's not inverse tangent because it's got a square root. So I'm thinking inverse sine because I hate inverse secant. I always go to inverse sine because, you know, it ranks number two. Okay? So I'm going to look at what's in here, and I have a negative x squared plus 8x minus 15. And I'm only going to put parentheses around those first two. And I'm going to factor something out of there. What am I going to factor? Hmm? Negative sign. That negative sign. And this is going to be x squared. Actually, I made a mistake on this side that I have to fix. I'm going to fix it after I'm done with this. I got so into trying to figure out the word telepathy that I forgot the rest of the math I was supposed to do, so I apologize. Minus 15. And I'm going to leave, leave a little space here, because we're going to complete this square. Alexis, what number needs to go in here? Four. 16. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> you kind of tighten up your telepathy a little bit? Okay. Plus 16. Now, Alexis, this really isn't a plus 16 because this is really a negative x squared because of that negative sign. This is really a plus 8x because of this negative sign. This is not 16, it's a negative 16. So I have to add 16 on the here. And that's what I screwed up before. So what I wrote down was wrong and I'm going to have to fix it. And I'll turn the page to do that in a bit. So now, this gives me a minus x minus 4 squared. Everybody okay with that? This gives me a plus 1. So now in my integral, I'm going to have 1 minus x minus 4, the quantity squared. So I'm thinking g is x minus 4. Its derivative is 1, and I see it right there. Well, that a has to be 1. And the reason I like sine inverse is I don't have to worry about that stupid 1 over a being out front. So it's going to be sine inverse of g over a of x minus 4 plus c. back to my mistake. When I did this, what did I forget to do, Matthew, that you didn't yell at me about? Yeah, this, this is really a minus 16, isn't it? So to compensate to it, I got to do what? That's 16. So this really should have been a 28.
Remember, you 